Aquatic respiration is the process whereby an aquatic animal obtains oxygen from water. Respiratory systems. Fish in most fish respiration takes place through gills. Lungfish, however, possess one or two lungs. The labyrinth fish have developed a special organ that allows them to take advantage of the oxygen of the air, but is not a true lung. Fish use the process known as countercurrent flow, in which water and blood flow in opposite directions across the gills, maximizing the diffusion of oxygen. Mollusks Mollusks generally possess gills that allow exchange of oxygen from an aqueous environment into the circulatory system. These animals also possess a heart that pumps blood which contains hemocyanidina as its oxygen-capturing molecule. Therefore, this respiratory system is similar to that of vertebrate fish. The respiratory system of gastropods can include either gills or a lung. Arthropods Aquatic arthropods generally possess some form of gills in which gas exchange takes place by diffusing through the exoskeleton. Others may breathe atmospheric air while remaining submerged via breathing tubes or trapped air bubbles. Though some aquatic insects may remain submerged indefinitely and respire using a plastrin. Aquatic reptiles The anatomical structure of the lungs is less complex in reptiles than in mammals, with reptiles lacking the very extensive airway tree structure found in mammalian lungs. Gas exchange in reptiles still occurs in alveoli however, a reptiles do not possess a diaphragm. Thus, breathing occurs via a change in the volume of the body cavity which is controlled by contraction of intercostal muscles in all reptiles except turtles. In turtles, contraction of specific pairs of flank muscles governs inspiration or expiration. See also reptiles for more detailed descriptions of the respiratory system in these animals. Amphibians Both the lungs and the skin serve as respiratory organs in amphibians. The skin of these animals is highly vascularized and moist, with moisture maintained via secretion of mucus from specialized cells. While the lungs are of primary importance to breathing control, the skin's unique properties aid rapid gas exchange when amphibians are submerged in oxygen-rich water. Aquatic birds The respiratory system of birds differs significantly from that found in mammals, containing unique anatomical features such as air sacs. The lungs of birds also do not have the capacity to inflate as birds lack a diaphragm in a pleural cavity. Gas exchange in birds occurs between air capillaries and blood capillaries, rather than in alveoli. See avian respiratory system for a detailed description of these and other features. Gills Large aquatic animals have developed gills for respiration which are specifically adapted to their function, for example, they have a large surface area to allow as much oxygen to enter the gills as possible because more of the gas comes into contact with the membrane. Good blood supply to maintain the concentration gradient needed. Thin membrane to allow for a short diffusion pathway. Each gill arch has two rows of gill filaments. Each gill filament has many lamellae. In osteichthyes, the gills contain four gill arches on each side of the head, two on each side for chondrichthyes or seven gill baskets on each side of the fish's head in lampreys in fish. The long bony cover for the gill can be used for pushing water. Some fish pump water using the operculum. Without an operculum, other methods, such as ventilation, are required. Some species of sharks use this system. When they swim, water flows into the mouth and across the gills. Because these sharks rely on this technique, they must keep swimming in order to respire. Bony fish use countercurrent flow to maximize the intake of oxygen that can diffuse through the gill. Countercurrent flow occurs when deoxygenated blood moves through the gill in one direction while oxygenated water moves through the gill in the opposite direction. This mechanism maintains the concentration gradient thus increasing the efficiency of the respiration process as well and prevents the oxygen levels from reaching an equilibrium. Cartilaginous fish do not have a countercurrent flow system as they lack bones which are needed to have the opened-out gill that bony fish have. Control of respiration 
Scientists have investigated what part of the body is responsible for maintaining the respiratory rhythm. They found that neurons located in the brain stem of fish are responsible for the genesis of the respiratory rhythm. The position of these neurons is slightly different from the centers of respiratory genesis in mammals but they are located in the same brain compartment which has caused debates about the homology of respiratory centers between aquatic and terrestrial species. In both aquatic and terrestrial respiration, the exact mechanisms by which neurons can generate this involuntary rhythm are still not completely understood. Another important feature of the respiratory rhythm is that it is modulated to adapt to the oxygen consumption of the body. As observed in mammals, fish breathe faster and heavier when they do physical exercise. The mechanisms by which these changes occur have been strongly debated over more than 100 years between scientists. The authors can be classified in two schools. 1. Those who think that the major part of the respiratory changes are pre-programmed in the brain, which would imply that neurons from locomotion centers of the brain connect to respiratory centers in anticipation of movements. 2. Those who think that the major part of the respiratory changes result from the detection of muscle contraction, and that respiration is adapted as a consequence of muscular contraction and oxygen consumption. This would imply that the brain possesses some kind of detection mechanisms that would trigger a respiratory response when muscular contraction occurs. Many now agree that both mechanisms are probably present and complementary or working alongside a mechanism that can detect changes in oxygen and or carbon dioxide blood saturation.